Welcome to our project film. We're going to show you how with two pieces of 14 inch squares of fabric, we've used thicker fabric here, you can easily make a cushion cover. So with right sides facing, line up the overlocked edge. Mark an inch and three quarters in from each side for your 11 inch zip. Pin up to the marked area so that you can sew the ends up to the point where the zip will go. Backstitch to start sewing. And then, following the 1.5cm gauge, going slowly to hit exactly on the marked spot. Backstitch to finish. Do the same again on the other side. The back stitch is important as these are stress joints. Pin to hold the zip area still. Now you're going to make a temporary baste or tacking stitch, so take the stitch to the longest setting. Start the first stitch one stitch below where your first seam stops. You're not going to do any reverse because you'll remove these stitches later. You can see that these are longer stitches and just snipping into them every few inches so you can remove them more easily later is a good idea. Press the seam flat and work it open with your thumb to then press the seam open. Lift the seam up to check the mark and then pin so that you can see the position from the top side. Lay the zip in position and pin the stop point. Pin through all the layers and remove the marking pin. It's helpful to use your measuring tape to keep the width consistent and pin all the way on both sides. Tack the zip pin in position with a contrasting thread. You will find hand tacking is the best way at this stage. Remove the pins. Remove the regular foot and replace with a zipper foot. So press and release the claw and 
set up the one-sided foot for a left-hand side position. Lower the foot to engage this claw. Now you can easily stitch close to the zip puller. Start with a slow front and back stitch to secure and then hand turn to move over the zip where the fabric is thickest. Nice and slow, right into the corner. Raise the sewing foot and pivot your fabric and sew down the side. Try and focus on the edge being an equal distance from the centre line all the way down. Because you tacked in a different colour, it should be really easy to remove the stitches. So now you're going to open your zip about 2 inches and pin around the three sides. This is just to make sure you don't stretch one side. Sew up with the regular foot, removing the pins as you go. And backstitch to finish. Why not check out our overlocking videos for more information? Take your thumb inside and push it right into the corner and then fold under one side of the seam allowance and fold over the other side. Then pinch the corner and roll this around without letting go of the pinch. And then just squeeze the last little bit of the corner in. And that's your cushion cover.